It's the end of round seven here at Bilisi at the Women's Grand Prix. And uh, joining us now here is Sarah Kadim, who just drew her game against Alina Kashlinskaya. It was a quite an intense game. Would you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, Alina is a very good player. And uh, today she surprised me first with a bingo because she usually doesn't play it. But then it happened that I uh, prepared this line for another opponent during this tournament. So I just played it and she was surprised then. But yeah, somehow I managed to give back my pawn, and I don't know why I did that. But then it was it was slightly worse. I had to, I think, maybe even more than slightly. But then I had to defend the whole game, and uh, fortunately, I could manage to hold. Well, according to the computer, you were kind of mostly it was around even. Yes, she was better. You had to defend, but you defended well. But there you have it. You had a double surprise at the beginning. She, uh, Alina spent quite a lot of time when you. I think the surprise was the move e three. Alina spent about twenty minutes thinking. Yeah, because it's not her usual opening, so uh, I think it was normal that she was thinking like what setup to go. But after that, it was uh, for both of us, it was a kind of unknown position because I never played it before. She never played it before, too. So, yeah, it was a good game. I think. It seems that you're having a better second half of the tournament than the beginning. In the beginning, you won, if I'm not mistaken, half a point out of four. And now out of the last three runs, you've won two points. Well, yeah, that's what I was telling you in our other interview that I was playing like really slow and I was not in a good shape because I hadn't played for a long time. But usually like when you play the tournaments, you get in shape somehow. But unfortunately, it happened in the <laughs> second half. But anyways, it's good that it happened. Well, OK, if you, if you could extend, how many rounds would you add just to get fully back into shape? <laughs> no, I think I mean I still have we still have two more rounds and I do have two more leagues to play in and many tournaments to come. So I wouldn't. Uh, You're not going to extend this tournament at all. But overall, what do you make of the other games here so far that have been played by your opponents? Uh, I think in the first rounds, I mean, I uh, I was playing like completely out of shape. I, I was not playing a good level, but uh, my yesterday's game against Maria was really nice, I think. And at some point I was uh, kind of trying to put pressure on her, but then changing the queen was a mistake. And then uh, we man I mean, we ended up in a draw, but okay, after all, I'm satisfied with the, with the last three games. Very good. And how much have you had a uh, chance to look at the games of your opponents? Uh, in terms of the quality of their play and what you've seen here. Is this what you expected? Are you surprised? Is it better? I think uh, everybody is like well prepared and compared to the other Grand Prix that I played, the difference is that this time they shared the pairings like way before the tournament, I think two weeks, three weeks before the tournament. And that makes everybody uh, be more prepared because I mean, we all knew our opponents before. And uh, for that, I think uh, opening wise, we all played like some surprises in the tournament and the quality of games, I think, uh, yeah, most of the players are in good shape. But you knew you were gonna, going to play all the players in this tournament. That, uh, that's just how it works. There, there's there's in the 10 of you and there's like nine rounds. But does, so how, how important is it and why is it important that you know exactly who you're gonna play in which round? Well, you know the uh, colors. I mean, when uh, I used to play before, it was like you get ready for the tournaments like other tournaments. But yeah, of course, you played with other opponents, but you didn't have uh, l lots of time to prepare. That's why you see lots of uh, first, uh, I mean, first time attempt openings in this tournament. Like, for example, in my first round with Bibi Sara, she usually went d4, c4, or knight f3 the first move, and she played e4 with me. And I don't think that would have happened if we were playing a normal tournament, but it happened because she knew uh, she was going to play with me a uh, like long time before the tournament. And in, in terms of these surprises, uh, when you know who you're going to play, uh, th does it matter that you're going to meet some players in the beginning rather than the end? Or is it, all, is it just enough to know whether you're white or black against them? I think uh, it. I mean, it depends on how the tournament goes. So you cannot like predict everything from the beginning. But uh, yeah, mostly for me, it was that you knew all the opponents and the colors from before. So that's why it made it a little bit harder for me. But I think once talking to you, I think you mentioned that out of against the toughest players, you were playing with black. That kind of didn't really go your way. Yeah, except Nana, that is higher rated than me. I think with all other higher rated opponents, I, I played with black, which is uh, not very pleasant, but what to do? Okay, and finally, how many hours a day do you prepare, if that's not a secret? 
uh, during the tournament or? Yes, during this tournament. Um, in the first rounds, I was spending lots of time do for preparation, but because I mean, before the tournament, I was not ready, so I had to like go through everything. But uh, now I don't sp uh, spend that much because now I reviewed all the openings. So I what's lots of time? Two hours, three hours, five hours well, during the day? Time for me is like two, three hours, but now I spend less than that. Well, thank you very much for your time and good luck.